This topic is from jet transforms. In this video, I am going to explain multiplication by n. See here, if z transform of f of n is equal to capital F of z, then if this f of n is multiplied by n, that is z transform of n into f of n is equal to minus z into d by dz of capital F of z. In general, z transform of n power k into f of n is equal to minus z power k dk by dz power k into f of z. See here, using this multiplication property, so I am going to solve z transform of n cos n theta and z transform of n sin n theta. So, let's get started with this. So, here z transform of n cos n theta. So, here cos n theta is multiplied by n. Got it? So, first of all, I need the value that is z transform of n into f of n is equal to minus z into d by dz of f of z. Clear? According to our multiplication by n. So, if it is multiplied by n, so this is the formula I have to put on. So, here what is f of n from this? So, f of n is nothing but cos n theta. This is cos n theta. Now, I need the z transform of f of n which is equal to capital F of z. That is the z transform of this is cos n theta. So, the z transform of cos n theta is nothing but z into z minus cos theta by this value is z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1. So, I made a video on this. See, please uh, go through the playlist and watch this. So, according to our uh, special functions, z transform of cos n theta is nothing but z into z minus cos theta by z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1. So, you can watch this video and you can verify in the playlist. So, according to this one. So, this is nothing but capital F of z. Now, I will substitute here. Now, if I substitute in this, so this will be z transform of n into, what is f of n? f of n is nothing but cos n theta. This is cos n theta is equal to minus z into d by dz of capital F of z. So, what is this capital F of z? So, this is nothing but z into z minus cos theta by this value is z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1. Clear? Now, if I make a derivative with respect to z for one time and multiply with minus z, I will be getting the value of n cos n theta. So, here for that, I am going to use uv rule. So, what is uv rule? So, the derivative of u by v is nothing but this is v square v u dash minus u v dash. So, the numerator is u and the denominator is v. Now, see here. Now, the z transform of n cos n theta is equal to minus z into this is d by dz of d by dz of this is z into z minus cos theta by this value is z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1. Clear? If I apply uv rule and see what happens here. So, this value is minus z times of v square that is z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1 whole square. Now, I have to write v for one time. So, this is v that is z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1 for one time and u dash. So, I have to make a derivative for this. So, if I multiply this will be z square. So, I am writing 2z. So, if I multiply with this, for z this is 1. So, this is 1 into cos theta minus, I have to write u, u as it is. So, if I multiply, what is u here? z square minus z cos theta. Clear? And next v dash, I have to make a derivative for this. So, this is 2z. For z this is 1. So, this value is 2 into cos theta. Clear? For 1 this is 0. And see, if I multiply, what happens here? So, this is minus z times of. So, this value is nothing but z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1 into this is 2z minus cos theta. Here, this value is minus z square minus z cos theta into this value is 2z minus this value is 
2 cos theta by this value is z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1 whole square. Clear? Now I am going to multiply each and every term here. So be very alert. So if I multiply with z square, this will be 2z cube. And again, if I multiply with z square, this is minus z square, this is cos theta. If I multiply with this minus 4, this is z square cos theta. And again, if I multiply these two, this will be minus of minus plus. This is 2z, this is cos square theta. If I multiply with 1, this will be 2z minus cos theta and see here if I multiply so I am keeping minus as it is if I multiply with this this will be 2z cube minus this is 2z square cos theta and again if I multiply with this minus 2z square cos theta and if I multiply these two this will be plus 2z cos square theta cos square theta by this value is z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1. This is whole square. Now, if I go on multiplying, this will be minus z times of. This is 2z cube minus this value is z square cos theta minus this is 4z square cos theta plus this is 2z cos square theta. This is again 2z and this is again minus cos theta. If I multiply with minus, see here, this will be minus 2z cube minus of minus. This value is 2z square cos theta. And if I multiply these two, this will be plus 2 square cos theta. <coughs> and again, this is minus 2z cos square theta. Clear? By divided by, this is z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1 whole square. See, I'll cancel, I'll, I'll cancel these two. So, this is plus 2z square and minus 2z square. So, now I can easily cancel these two and see. And again, I'll show this value is and the next thing here is minus 4z square cos theta and this is plus 2z square cos theta and this is plus 2z square cos theta. And now I can cancel plus 2z square, plus 4z square and minus 4z square got cancelled. And still what else here? And I'll show you. And this is uh, here 2z cos square theta and 2z cos square theta. Now I can cancel plus and minus. And what remained here? So see here, if you see, this is minus z times of. Now here, this is minus z square, minus z square cos theta. And the next thing here is plus 2z. This is plus 2z and here this is minus 2z. By this value is z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1 whole square. So if I multiply with minus, so the value here will be, this value will be z cube cos theta plus this value is 2z square. So this is minus minus 2z square and this value is again plus cos z cos theta by this value is z square plus 2z cos theta plus 1 whole square. So this value is nothing but n into cos n theta and see here finally I am writing this as z times of see here z of n cos n theta value is nothing but this is z cube cos theta minus 2z square plus this value is z cos theta by this value is z square plus 2z cos theta plus 1 whole square. So this is about nz n into cos n theta z transform of if n is multiplied with cos n theta so that is the answer and next coming to the second question so which is the second question here so now we have to calculate the z transform of C solution 2. Now z transform of n into sin n theta. So if sin n theta is multiplied by n then see what happens here and this is also so simple and according to our question so z transform of n into f of n 
is nothing but minus z into d by dz of capital F of z. So, how we will get this capital F of z? Capital F of z here, n is this one. So, in place of n, we have sin n theta. Now, I will make a z transform of f of n, which is equal to capital F of z. Now, z transform of sin n theta is nothing but z sin theta, z into sin theta, see here. This value is nothing but z into sin theta z into sin theta by this is again z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1. So, I made a video on this. Please go through that one. So, then it will be very easy. And this value is nothing but capital F of z. And now coming to the point here, if I substitute here in this formula, then I will be getting, I will be getting the value of n into sin n theta. Therefore, the z transform of n into what is f of n? This is sin n theta. f of n is nothing but sin n theta is equal to minus z into d by dz of f of z. What is f of z here? This is z into sin theta by z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1. So, if I make a derivative with respect to z and multiply with z minus z, then I will be getting the value of n sin n theta. So, this is v square z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1 whole square. So, I have to write v for one time that is z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1 and again I have to make a derivative. For z this is 1. So, what remains? Sin theta minus u I have to write as it is and again I have to make a derivative. For z square this is 2z and for z this is 1. What remains? 2 cos theta. See here. This value is minus z times of. If I multiply with sin theta, this will be z square sin theta. If I multiply these two, this will be 2z sin theta into cos theta. If I multiply, this is sin theta. And again, if I multiply these two, this will be minus 2z square sin theta. And again, minus of minus this will be plus 2z and this value is sin z into cos z by this value is z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1 whole square. And if you observe this one, this is minus 2z sin theta cos theta and this is plus 2z, 2z sin theta and cos theta. So, you can cancel these two. And what remains here? And this is a next one. This value is minus z times of this is plus z square and this is minus 2z square. So, this value is see I am showing this. This is like terms plus z minus 2z square. This will be minus z square sin theta. And the next one here what remains? This is sin theta by the value here is z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1 whole square. So, if I multiply with minus, so this will be z cube sin theta minus z sin theta by this value is z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1 whole square. Therefore, our final answer. So, what is the final answer? That is z into n into sin n theta value is nothing but this is z cube sin theta minus z into sin theta by this value is z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1 whole square and this is how we have to solve using multiplication by m so we have to make a derivative with respect to z for one time and again we have to multiply with minus z so that we'll be getting the solutions and we have to Mm, practice well and definitely you can solve by your own and if you really like this video please practice and pass it on to your friends thank you so much